National policy adviser to the president Huang Quinbing passed away on Saturday at the age of 93. Endearingly referred to as Uncle Quinbing, Huang, his wife and two other farmers from Tainan's Hopi Township became celebrities of sorts with the release of the documentary Let It Be in 2004. The film depicting the hardships and optimism of Taiwan's peasants won both audiences' hearts and subsequently awards. President Tsai and Vice President Lai took to social media Saturday to remember everyone's beloved uncle. When he found out about the passing of his old friend, despite having trouble walking, Uncle Wenlin wasted no time as he rushed over to pay his respects. Uncle Wenlin was one of the farmers in the film. Well, my talk to Hong Kong was. I'm feeling a lot of pain. The three of us were so close, yet they've both left me. They were advanced in age and it was time to go. Featured alongside Huang, Uncle Wenlin lamented the passing of two of the four farmers featured in the award-winning documentary. Considered the most well-known farmer in Taiwan, Huang was a national policy advisor to the president. On Saturday, he died in his home after succumbing to illness at the age of 93. <laughs> His real name was Huang Kunbing. This footage of him singing is the last time audiences saw him before he was admitted to hospital. <laughs> Huang became a household name after the release of the documentary Let It Be. Born in 1929 in Holby, Tainan, the lifelong farmer took the top prize at a rice growing competition in 2005. He set up a fund with the NT dollar one million prize money to promote Taiwan's agriculture. In 2016, President Tsai asked him to be her policy advisor. Never one to beat around the bush, Huang said yes and had since been giving his candid advice when it came to agricultural issues. His political stance was just as sharp. If Premier Lai can just wait around for four years, after those four years the presidency will be his. Just like what Tokugawa Ieyasu said, in order to gain the world, you must wait. During the heated competition between Tsai and Lai in the days leading up to the DPP presidential primary, Huang made it clear that Lai should wait a while. After the formation of the Tsai Lai ticket, Huang, a nonagenarian, served as the national director of Friends of Tsai in agriculture, forestry, fishery and animal husbandry. Everyone could see his lifelong dedication to Taiwan's agriculture. Once we found out about his passing, I told his family to restrain their grief and take care of themselves. Uncle Kunbing's passing left many politicians in mourning. In a Facebook post, President Tsai put up a photo of herself with her former advisor, saying he was kind, outgoing and had a deep love and clear principles when it came to agriculture in this land. Vice President Lai, in turn, put up a picture of him and everyone's beloved uncle, planting rice seedlings together in a rice paddy. He said Uncle Kunbing's dedication to the land and his down-to-earth work ethic will live in people's hearts forever.